Hey, what's up everyone? How you all doing today? Welcome to episode 34 of our Let's Play series of Adeptus Mechanicus with our Heretic DLC. We had a pretty good one last episode. Got the three encounters done in a little bit of a record time, I think. Still got ourselves a good little pile of Blackstone. So let's see what we can get on the guys today. Let's have a look where we all are now. I think we're starting to catch them up. We've got 18, 17, 17, 20, 18. So let's sort these 17s out, get them up a bit more. I think it's looking like we're only going to be able to afford two. Oh, no, we're only going to be able to two, I think. So we already got that one. No, we don't want that one, though. Let's definitely have that one. One cog point gained on killing a target. Okay, so he's up to 18 now. Got an extra augment slot. So let's get our bigger cog pokey stick on. So let's find the other 17. There we go, Minaris. Okay, what shall we go for? What's that do? Gains one physical armor. Could do that. Because that could be quite handy just to give it to himself, I think. I think I might do that actually. Goes on the servo skull. But it's definitely going to suit his knees, he can jack himself up with an extra bit of physical armour before he goes into a battle. See so again we've got one spur augment slot so I think we're going to drop this one, pick up this one. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Now we do have um, a better power field generator here, but I quite want to keep this one on because it says it uses one cognition but with our perk it will cost nothing, so it's just a nice little free extra bit of damage we can get knocked out. Now we've only got 5 10 blackstone left, we might be able to get one upgrade with someone, but it's best we just leave that in the pile for, for the next one. Okay, I think we've seen all of them, that one. Oh here, oh, here we go, double whammy. we got our last trick unit, the Catathron Battle Servitor. This one I was trying to think of the other day. we got our last tech priest, so I think we're going to have to do this one. Uh, I mean it says normal, so we might blast through it, but... Yeah, it's going to fill our cohort up. So what we've got, Canoptic Wraiths and Spiders, Vargard, Immortal, Lich Guard, Death Mark, and Canoptic Acanthrites. So, pretty much a little bit of everything there. We're going to the Agrolex sector. So, Shim, when we get this mission done successfully, I think it'd be kind of rude not to next do... I think there's a mission in there where we get an extra troop deployment slot. I think if we get those extra two units, we'll definitely have to do that, that mission to get the extra deployment slot. I think last, last episode we got our increased cognition gauge, I think. So it should be on about 10 now, I think. So I'm being rude, I'm talking over these guys. Says here we've got to rescue a trapped Skitari. So there's a poor Skitari unit trapped down here. We've got to go and rescue. Alrighty ho. So we've got two diamond encounters straight off the bat there. And the third one right next to it. Any more? No, just the optional one there. Wow, well, these are already close together. Got no choice if we go straight into this one here. No cognition yet, but I'll be alright. Right, so we've got a glowy door here, and then a mortal. The anchor frights, spider. Death Mark, Lich Guard, Immortal. Another glowy door. We've got a scan terminal here. Three cognition terminals, and they've all only got one on. So cognition is going to be pretty scarce on this, on this run. It'll make it quite interesting. I'd normally bunch all the guys up, 
but I'm a little bit worried about getting shot by that guy and him having like an area of attack weapon. So just try to space him out just a little bit. to do anything. This is going to be a bit of a bum. I know I've only got one, but I'm going to use to put that bubble up. Because without any extra cognition, our guys aren't going to be able to move terribly far. So we're all going to end up getting bunched up in this sort of area. I think there's only a couple of guys that got increased movement like Minarius. See, we've got no cognition with this guy. Um, we could maybe use this gun here. Ignores the armor, so we know we're going to get some damage on him. Cognition freedom, that didn't cost anything. So that's a nice free attack there. Now what is going to work in our favor a little bit is our stabby sticks. We've got a couple of guys now. With this upgraded one, that will give us free cognition. So we need to take full advantage of that. Oh, that's going to kill him, but is it going to blow him away? Please don't blow him away. Ah, oh, I blew him away. I wanted to keep poking him with some of the other guys. Get some more cognition. Let's just grab one more from over here for now. You can just chill there, buddy. Uh, in fact, let's use this little Horatio, let's hop him up just a bit. I thought that was Tauf, wasn't it? I don't want to do that with Tauf, I've got to keep remembering that. It's, um, it's a hard habit to get into, not healing your troops up. He's got the perk that will deal a bit of extra crit damage for every bit of HP he's lost. Okay, Oriochus. He's got some pretty mean looking movement on him there. So I'm going to get him right up here. And he's also got one of these cog sticks that gives us free. So slowly starting to build it up now. So are we on 10? Yeah, it's 10 gauge. That's brilliant. No, he's got free armor. It's not going to do anything. It's not bad, though. Starting to get a little bit of cognition up. We got a little bit of damage for that guy. Oh, oh, we're still up there. It's a bit of a bugger. Clear this guy out of there. Sod off, mate. Where are you gonna go to? That energy armor stuff this a bit there. Right, let's take the hit here. This guy's just gonna be buzzing around causing us hell. Just let's see if we can knock him down a bit. There we go, knock them down a bit, and obliterate them. Wonderful. No bother us no more. Oh, I've got to queue these guys up, so I'll put them right around here. He's going to block the way. So we're going to start queuing up. And then that'll allow this guy to move past. There we are. We've got a half decent amount of cognition now. Yeah, let's move him forward a bit. Stick him here so hopefully he's out line of sight ish from some of these. Can you see anyone from there? 
Oh yeah, we can get up here and get some flame action on the go. A little pokey poke. How many will we be able to get? Can we get all three? Oh, slight, ever so gentle touch there. Yeah. I'm going to save the cognition freedom and use that for the other gun. There we go, go free. Okay, so I'm kind of hoping that this gun will get them both. Oh, look, I could cheekily. Get around here and just get some blackstone. Let's just have a look. Yeah, it's gonna get both of them. Cool. I don't know how much damage it's gonna do exactly, but it feels like a good move. Four, is that it? Brilliant. Oh, this one I should have boosted him. Oh, I can't boost myself. Oh, that's not cool. I wanted to boost myself. Yeah. Oh, let's give it to him then. No reason. That's a bit of a letdown. I can do anything. No, got two armor. Bleeding being then. unit in. Naris is a little bit outnumbered up here. So we had physical armor, so let's get another blast of an energy weapon. This guy's gonna be sort of trapped in a bit any way he moves. He's gonna be triggering opportunity attack. And he also won't be able to fire. Be forced into melee. That's pretty cool. So you can just sit there now. Oh, I could have cleansed myself. Didn't realise there was a jab of acid. Wow, I took one damage. Cool, it's a tough little cookie. And we got the opportunity kill on him. Oh yeah. Level 3 Rostalker. Mm-hmm. attack hopefully. Yep. Yeah. We'll go in there. He's only got is that two HP left? Two. Yeah and this machine is very charged, he's gonna go. Next time it's his turn, I'll get him to um, cleanse the Rustalker. So 
like he's got a good night as well. Whoa, get out of there. Kill. The old pokey stick. I think we've only got. Yeah, it's just this warrior or a mortal. Ooh, seven energy armor. That's a lot. Have to get in there then. Strip his armor down a little. Can he cleanse? He can cleanse as well. There we go. Cleanse of our stalker. Oh, this is town. This is Jeremiah. Oh, yeah, no cognition. Okay. Kind of want to blow this thing up. to use, so why not? There you go. Free damage is better than no damage. Give him an extra two of a little pokey infestus there. Let's just make sure he's still in melee combat for the opportunity attack. Glad we got that um, terminal blown up as well near the end there. Just brought awakening down a bit. A vicious skirmish has left the chamber ahead riddled with gunfire and half collapsed. The danger of further collapse is undeniably present, but so is the chance to acquire resources or intelligence normally concealed within the tarnished walls the Tomb of Akralek. Reinforce. Try to shore up the chamber before moving through it. Reap. See what resources can be looted from the machinery exposed by the damaged walls. Or research. Search for revealed Necron technology that might help understand the Tomb's awakening protocols. Hmm. Okay, so I think if we just go for reap and just go for general looting, there's a chance we could get some good stuff, but there's also a chance that the place could collapse on us. If we reinforce, we're probably not going to get anything from it, we're just going to walk through it. But if we research, we might get something out of it, it might also reveal if there's any instabilities and problems. So I'm going to go with science here. The cohort examines the exposed machinery but quickly realise the chamber is too unstable to operate in. They fall back as the ceiling begins to collapse. Though they escape unharmed, they are slowed down as they must now find an alternative route. So that's kind of a little bit what I was worried about. If we'd have just gone into loot, the chamber might have just fallen down on us because it's too unstable. So even though we haven't got much out of that, we, we do still have our lives. <laughs> so I'm, I'm quite cool with that. Um, now got a little bit of cognition. Do we backtrack one? Yeah, let's backtrack one to this glyph room just to see what we get from the glyph. It's going to knock our awakening up a bit, but... Oh, there we go. Three greens and a red. That's unheard of. A container of some sort that seemingly has raw binary seething within. We've heard this before. Let's get our blackstone. Oh, it's not even blackstone. Oh, well. Alright, let's go back this way, get into our next room.
kill all enemies. Cute little deployment zone. Right, suspicious section here. That definitely looks like there's going to be a platform that's going to pop up there. Any more, do you reckon? Possibly one over here somewhere. Okay, so let's see what we do have. Deathmot, Immortal, Spider, Vargard, Wraith. Two cognition here and here, one here, one here, and one scan terminal. Okay, so this is a pretty simple layout in here then. They did. What gives them all untold amounts of armour? Right, first things first. Clear off. Can I still see him? Oh, he's, he's got one block out of range. Okay, we can sort that out. That little pain in the butt gone already. See, though we pushed up a bit there, we got the one cognition from the terminal. We'll poke another two out of this guy. Oh, cheeky swap. As a couple of our guys are a little low, I'm just gonna do a quick health regen on all of them. It's just four of them that needed a bit of health there. I'm not doing bad for cognition, so I think we'll pop the bubble up as well. I can go and get an extra one. Let's grab that one there. This one's all sneaking and visible. Yeah, there's that terminal up there isn't live. It's just this one I have to worry about. Then hopefully we can see we can see that guy. I think we'll do that big gun. Get the area of effect damage on the um little up text as well. Hey, nobble them, they're gone. Nice. Now be rude not to zap them with the other gun as well. So that's a bit of cognition. Only collect one cock point, so we'll save that for now, I think. Oh, hold on. Oh, I forgot about this guy here. He's got a bit of armor there. Not going to do much, but we'll do a little bit. Just give poke first. Ok, 
can I serve a skull? No, it only gets one cock point. Let's chuck it on him, deal a bit of damage. Hope is when he moves away, the opportunity attack should kill him. Or I can maybe finish him off with one of these guys. I think I'm just going to wait. I'm going to start working on these guys here. Still got three, three pretty big units here. Well, by that one's nearly dead now. That's quite a result. Let's go up and finish the job off then. Cool. Only just. Yes, that was close. That's cool, right? Let's. Um, is that melee? Is that melee? Let's go there. I think that's going to be melee combat. Just we've already used it, so it's not telling us. I oh, so we can collect all cognition. Oh, we don't need to collect all cognition. We can get the cognition. Cool. Let's push forward some more, then, I think. Now it's on the case. Burn and fall. I think we'll do the same as what we did last time actually. Save our cognition freedom, the big gun. Also put my power field generator on there for a little bit of extra physical damage. Now spent some cognition, I'll poke some back. Let's see if this little pokey thing will finish him off. So we don't know what HP this guy's on yet. Let's have a look. Come on, wanna No. Won't let us get our servo skull on him. It's odd. Didn't do any damage to that guy, but hopefully it did some damage to the spider here. Well, I not had the chance to get an opportunity to attack on this guy yet, so let's just lay into him. I guess we'll just stay there. That's got to have some armor on it, because that's had quite a few attacks laid into it now. Alright, yeah, I've already got that terminal. Quickly backtrack for the space, get that cognition. Now, am I going to be able to see that guy? No. Chop him, I guess. God, it's still going. But we've got some armor knocked off of him now. That's right, Tauf, so we've got to make sure we don't hit with him. Um, I'm hoping I can get round to our medic soon and he can heal everyone again.
drop them. That can shoot through that gap. Wow. That's pretty cool. Oh, I finished him off. Cool. Wally ho then. Um, hmm. Has he got energy armor on him? He does. There's only two, though. I think I'm going to save our cognition for these guys. I'm going to get in there and mess him up. Go on. Another room done. Still on an awakening of zero. So doing pretty good. A cache of ammunition and supplies lie in a side chamber, evidently left by the Skitari as they were forced back in the face of Necron attacks. They could be valuable if recovered. Practical. Take the supplies for the cohort's own use. Pious. Tape supplies for use by Skitari. Or paranoid. The supplies could be bait for a trap. Leave them be. Hmm. Although left by Skitari. So let's I'm a little bit worried that the paranoid thing might be might be true, but I'm gonna go with positive thinking. I'm going to be pious. I'm going to give the supplies back to this Skitari. The cohort attempts to take the whole cache with them to resupply the Skitari. Lugging the ammo boxes and supply crates slows them down, but they know they are giving their fellow Sons of Mars the best possible chance of survival. Yeah, hoorah, that's what I'm talking about. Supporting our, our fellow battle brothers. Pardon me. Right, let's get into this last room. got a nice full cognition gauge here as well so I think we'll get a couple of troop units deployed here scan or destroy okay so we've got a little oh we've got two little movie platforms what kind of is the point of moving just there to there okay well there we go so we've got one terminal here scan or destroy one here scan or destroy Single cognition, two doubles. Got an immortal death mark, spider, immortal death mark. Cool, it's no lich guard still. Is there glowy doors? No, I don't think so. Okay, um. Let's get these guys ready to deploy them. Let's do some troop units as well. Let's just get one in for now. It's like I said before, their movement's really crap, so we've got to give them the troop boost from Oriocus's ghost. Ghost? Wrong game, man. Servo skull. I don't know why, I thought I was playing Destiny there for a minute. Luminate got some range. Look at that. Where's he going? Come a bit closer, but he's got Overwatch on all our guys. And he's going to do the same now. Where are you going? Further away. Yeah, so he's, he's all good. But this one here is definitely in our way. We haven't got line of sight on him. As soon as we walk into line of sight, oh, it's out range. 
Right, we're gonna have to take the hit here. He's already taken one hit as well, this guy. Okay, let's heal him up before I do anything, I think. Oh, he's a healer chap. I wanna heal everyone a bit. Oh well, that wasted the cognition. Let's do our best to get some damage into this death mark. Can we hit him? Yep, we can. It's the last room. Let's get can to belong then. See if we can't take out this death mark for one nice shot. Go on. Yeah, we go. Don't have to worry about him anymore. Cool. We can afford to push up a little bit now. Give him a little poke, get some cognition back. I think we'll put a bubble out as well. Um, let's grab this one over here. South, nice and invisible. Let's do the same as we did last time. Bust him up to this terminal here. He's got pretty good movement on him. Let's give this terminal a poke before we blow it up. Take out the little what's it, little scarabs. Let's take out the little scarabs. There we go. They can't heal with anyone now. Okay, he can hit them, he can see them. I was going to say. But if I go there, he can. And that's still within the blue. Let's do it. Oh no. Let's collect some one. But of a nothing. So let's do that. scan turn on here as well I don't want to forget about I'm trying to get every shred of blackstone we can we love getting those upgrades and that's both the terminal scan now so what's going to happen oh escape cool I haven't had many of these Once again, I should have hoped that first, shouldn't I? Very well. Um, let's cruise here. Still got a bit of cognition. We can get three more there. 
Who's this is Jeremiah? Chuck some energy downrange. Seven or eight energy armor. Oh no, only three. He's getting whittled slowly. We've still got guys back here. Oh no. Just a scratch, but a mere flesh wound. A bit of light immolation. Now we'll use our freedom on the other gun again. into this one. I don't think it's going to do anything. No. Worth a tickle. Right, no cognition up anywhere. You've still got a Vanguard guard to go. Blimey. Let's get a second shot in there as well. The rude Nazi. Kid nobbling. Hey, he did, he got nubbled. So if I'd put guys on there, that would have been a waste of time. I've already got up further on those platforms. Oh, have we got any kind of pokey stick? Nope. go one further with him. Oh, I can go there. That's melee range. Get my machine spirit attack on him and strip that armor down. Give the others a better chance of getting him. Uh, do a bit of healing whilst I'm here as well. cleansing as well. I don't really think we need to, so we're not going to take another turn up here, but we can, so we will. Can I really ship me that cotton ship? Let's get the blue. See if that's got us close enough. No? 
get that one going. That's okay. Just gonna have to push a couple of these guys forward a bit, you see. Lost a ship. There's a death mark over there. Oh well. Oh, could have gotten in there and poked some cognition. Was that it? That's everyone. That's everyone. Brilliant. We're safe. Extraction. Ragged band of Skitari are holding on to this location, already badly mauled by repeated Necron attacks. They look to the newly arrived cohort for leadership. Bless, lead the Skitari in a pre-battle prayer for deliverance and strength. Barricade, set about shoring up the chamber's defences. Or bolster, give the Skitari an inspirational speech with examples of past Adeptus Mechanica's victories. Yes, let's, let's tell tales of glory. Oh, bum. The cohort remind the Skitari of the heroic victories at Pollux Minor, Avengers Plain, and the dire forges of Renavan. However, these exhortations seem to do more harm than good, as the Skitari voice rare open dissent over the tech priest lecturing them about battle when they have already been fighting on the front lines for hours. Oh, our attempts at inspiration and motivation did not work there. However, mission is complete. The waves of Necrons finally ebb in intensity as the reserves of Necron warriors are temporarily exhausted. The Cohort and the Skitari unit take the chance to leave their entrenched position and make their way to the tomb entrance. Well, that's quite a result. No Blackstone loss. Look at all those enemies for taking out. Brilliant. Got a little bit of Blackstone, but more importantly, our cohort is now complete. So we've got to take a look. There we go, full screen. Okay, this is another new one. Majos Ortisius, I believe that is. Okay, so it's going to be fun getting some upgrades on that bad boy next episode. And we've also got our Catafron Battle Servitor, which looks like a mini tank with a servitor just tacked on the top. So we might have to get some of our, our big troop units out in the battle soon, just to have a little look at them and see how they play out. And like I said, we've, we've, well, we've got plenty of Blackstone here, so Ortisius is going to get some good upgrades next episode. There we have it. I hope you've enjoyed that one, guys. Please leave us a like and subscribe if you did. I can't wait for that next episode to to get our cohort all complete and upgraded. Stay tuned for the next one. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.